In July 2023, I invited people to participate in an experimental sound walk through the city of Freiburg. During my previous two months stay, I had been exploring the waterways of the city. The historic town is crisscrossed by the Bechler, a medieval system of open water channels that served as a utility water supply running through nearly all streets and alleys of the old town. During my research, I got to know one of the four Bechleputzer, a person who cleans the Bechle on a daily basis, gaining insight into the parts of the water channels that are not visible and how this system is connected to the modern sewage system. He also introduced me to the fifth cleaner of the Bechle, the tiny crayfish that eat the algae and the streams. My friend and colleague, Paul Wick, gave me the idea of constructing canal listening objects that precisely match the dimensions of a manhole cover. I created three different portable prototypes to be tested on the different sewer lids on our walk. We initiated this journey at Ewerk, where my workshop was, and walked through the old town reaching the Schwabentor a city portal and the highest point of the old town. <laughs> Canal networks connect people within the city and allow liquids which flow through the environment and through us to converge into the wastewater system. The city can be seen as an organism relying on a functional sewer and wastewater system. Every one of us, whether drinking from a public fountain, using the toilet or turning on the tap, is part of a system that binds us and presents shared challenges. In the medieval city of Freiburg, a water supply and disposal system emerged consisting of four components. Wastewater seeped into pits and latrines behind buildings and in courtyards. Numerous public fountains provided drinking water in front of houses and on public squares. The commercial canal flowing through the southern part of the old town supplied water and water power to larger businesses mills and workshops. And lastly, the Bechler ran through the alleys providing residents with water for firefighting, domestic use, livestock and smaller industries. In medieval times, the water of the Bechler was conveyed over the city moat using wooden channels, then further to meadows and gardens in the west of the city. The Bechle collected organic waste, providing abundant fertilizer for the meadows and gardens. There were even disputes among farmers over this water. At the start of the tour behind the Ewerk, we encounter Bechle that were once used to irrigate meadows known as Clara Matten.
liquids flow into us and out of us, connecting us. They are important. They bring joy, refresh us. They can drown us, hydrate us. We value them, need them, waste them, suppress them, forget them, feel embarrassed by them, find them repulsive, use them and flush them away. My own body, through which water flows, composed mainly of water and cleaned by water, becomes part of the bodies, cavities and channels through which our fresh or used water runs. The Bechle network has been flowing through the streets of Freiburg for over 800 years. It's believed that the street level had to be adjusted to create an optimal slope for the flowing water. In the courtyard of this house here, all paving and a septic pit were found 1.7 meters deep. Steep steps now lead down to the original courtyard level. The act of walking carries a specific rhythm, a rhythmic activity that connects with what is heard. Thoughts, perception and the body are set in motion and gain new impulses. Walking, stopping, listening to each other and collectively became a shared experience in this activity. The Dreisam River, flowing from east to west through Freiburg, initially feeds the commercial canal in the eastern part of the city. From here, a smaller canal diverts water into the Bechle, emerging at Schwabentor. <laughs> Conflicts between businesses along the commercial canal and people relying on the Bechle for water in the old town were not uncommon. One factory owner who possessed the keys to the diversion point was suspected of abusing his power prompting the Water and Roads Construction Office of Freiburg to regulate the water flow from 1883 onwards. Around 1875, the installation of water pipes in inner-city buildings began. Today, most people don't differentiate between drinking and utility water. To end this video, I will now tell you the legend of the Bechle and the Dragon. This was at a time where dragons still existed in Freiburg. An order of knights had advocated for decades and ultimately succeeded in persuading people not to fight dragons anymore. This led to the dragons no longer being a threat, as they only turned dangerous when confronted. However, after years of peace, a dragon went wild and scared the people. The Nightesses set out to investigate. The dragon was unpredictable and in the scuffle almost devoured one of the Nightesses. Fortunately, she discovered a hollow tooth 
and hid inside. She learned that the dragon had terrible toothache and promised to help. So the entire city of Freiburg pitched in, bringing large logs from the black forest and prying open the dragon's mouth at a marketplace, where many, many people pulled on a rope together to extract the bad tooth. The dragon's pain and its deep-rooted fear of dentists caused it to weep rivers. The tears flowed into the city finding their way into the Freiburger Bächle, where they still flow today.